flight mode and uh, operation. But in addition to the flight instruments, which will appear on the Dynons, uh, he also has, at least at this time, a tablet computer here, which will display his uh, camera output. He can broadcast that also through uh, radio waves to the ground. And of course, talk to uh, his ground personnel to intercept anyone if it's a road, let's say, citation or uh, traffic control, that kind of situation. Uh, with the bubble door as it is, you can just lean just a little bit out the side and look straight down or back or forwards. It's very much like sitting in a helicopter. I can't come to a complete stationary position over the ground unless I have about a 25 to 30 mile headwind. In that case, I can just kind of hover there. Normally, it's about 45 miles an hour, just orbiting a, orbiting a site in a lazy, lazy pattern for about six hours if I can stand to sit that long. The aircraft makes a marvelous platform for observation. Uh, it's equipped in front, as you can see here, with uh, fixed slats. Big slats allow it that lift that uh, facilitates the short takeoff and landing in such a marvelous way, or the slow, slow flight. The back is a span flapper on. Presently, the flaps are not deployed, so in this position for normal flight, but uh, when deployed, they hang way down here and they rotate around that position for control in the uh, flap deployed position. The rest of the aircraft is designed in a utilitarian fashion like the German Storch, not for looks, but for function. A strong you know, fuselage tail, an inverted horizontal. Inverted horizontal uh, especially facilitates uh, flight control at slow speed regimes. Vortex generators on the underside of the elevator help retain the, uh, you know, the boundary layer, the flow to the elevator in slow approach and landing. Full flying rudder on the back. The entire vertical surface is a rudder. So a lot of yaw control available in this rudder. It uh, will fly practically sideways through the air on a slip, or an extremely hard slip. Here is uh, very rugged, a monoleaf construction and uh, really rugged nose gear. We have a larger tire assembly available. Uh, I think it's 26 inch balloon tire for rougher field landings, uh, perhaps to skim off, off the water onto a rock, rocky beach or uh, river bed. That's uh, where you want to put the plane down. The, uh, the kind of corner style wingtips are fairly typical of a lot of aviation today. We think that probably provides the best control and the best amount of lift off the end of the wing. Uh, this was equipped with some LED landing lights. They also will wigwag back and forth. I can turn those on to demonstrate those for you. 